Hello, my name is Dylan Jones and I'm a football player. Since I was five, I've been playing football. Weekends in the fall at my house are filled with playing, watching, and obsessing over football. But as I watch, I can't help but notice the amount of injuries, especially concussions there are, in each game. This is a huge problem because at all levels, there are many, many players, which leaves lots of room for injury. Many people are starting to wonder whether or not playing the game is worth the injuries, and let me tell you, it definitely is. It is very important to not only only myself, but also to players all around the country that we retain the integrity of the game that means so much to us as well. You may be asking, how do we make the game of football safer without getting rid of the integrity of the game? Well, there are several, several ways that we can do just this. First off, it is necessary to make the equipment as safe as possible. Ideally, a helmet would be able to absorb any contact and make sure that your brain doesn't move within your skull. Now, this is easier said than done, but we de have definitely seen improvements over time. Back in the early 1900s, players were running around the gridiron wearing leather helmets and no shoulder pads or knee pads. Nowadays, players have state-of-the-art gear that does a very solid job at reducing concussions. But is it enough? We must continue to pursue the safest equipment as possible in order to ensure the safety of players on all levels. Although equipment safety is by far the most discussed method of increasing safety, there are more equally as important ways that we can improve the safety of the game. You'll find that in many cases players get hurt due to fear of getting hit. One vital way that we can improve the safety of the game is to improve the con confidence and minimize the fear that players have for hitting. Believe it or not, two players hitting full force with confidence is a lot less dangerous than someone who is scared and unready getting hit by someone with going full force. It is very important that all players feel comfortable hitting and confident that they can make the tackle. Otherwise, they are at greater risk for getting hurt. If a player truly doesn't like to hit, maybe it is time to start for them to start thinking about quitting football. The final and arguably most crucial way that the game of football can be made safer is through the use of proper techniques while hitting. The very first thing that I was told on my first day of full pad several years ago was that you should not lower your head while you were hitting. Yet, every day there are there were people that would keep lowering their head, putting them at risk for concussions and even broken necks. This tendency to lower our heads can easily be blamed on the coaches for not teaching players correctly, but I think it goes much further than that. Instead, we should be blaming the way we practice. If we instead focus our efforts on just studying the best practice techniques as opposed to equipment safety, then we'll have made a lot more progress. If every player tackled correctly and fairly, then football would be a much safer game. But as of now, we aren't quite there yet. No matter what, it is important that we keep researching and find new ways to save the game that so many of us love. Whether that be practice techniques, equipment, improvements, etc., we must keep working. But let's also remember it's important to keep the integrity of the game. Let's get to work. Thank you.